Hello Art Beaters! Becky here for ArtBeads.com and I've got a brand new video for you today. Today we're going to be taking a look at beam beads. Checkmates beam beads are three hole beads that you can use in a variety of ways. I'll be showing you some jewelry inspiration as well as how to use them in your own designs. So let's dive in! Beam beads, Checkmates beam beads, are three hole kind of long oval or bar shaped beads and they have three string holes um, through the center and so they make really great kind of stacker spacers. You can use them in multi-strand designs, fun bead weaving techniques. There's all kinds of different ways you can use these fun beads. You can see here we've used them alongside the two hole cabochon beads and seed beads to create this fun kind of stepping stone design. Um, but what I want to show you today is a three strand bracelet with seed beads um, that makes kind of a fun wavy look. So let's dive into using bean beads for that. All right, so what I'm using today, I've got three strands of Art Beads Designer Jewelry Wire uh, medium weight, so 0 0.019 inch. I've got ADOT Toho Round Seed Beads. This is from our Copper Peach Art Beads Designer Seed Bead Blend. And then I've got some different color choices of bean beads, and we'll see which ones I want to use as we go. I've also got my three strands of jewelry wire on a bead stopper, um, so I can easily add my seed beads on my bean beads. You'll also need clasp and jump ring um, to finish this project. My jewelry wire lengths, they're about 10 to 12 inches, um, depending on your bracelet size. So you want the bracelet size plus three to four inches extra, so you have room to crimp. All right, so we've got our three strands. I'm gonna start by adding two seed beads to the first strand. Three seed beads to the second strand. And four seed beads to the third strand. And then I'm going to put one of my beam beads on all three strands. I think I'm going to use this rich kind of turquoise teal color. It has a really nice shimmer. So I'm going to hold my strands and make sure I've got them separated correctly. And then add my beam bead. Ooh, those colors look good together. So this is how we're starting the bracelet. So let's make the next segment of seed beads. For the next segment, our third and top strand will have three seed beads. Our middle strand will have four seed beads. And our bottom strand will have five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to add a beam bead. Now that's beam with an M, not an N. It's not a bean bead. <laughs> Add that bead to all of the strands. So we're going to make kind of a fun little wavy pattern here. All right, now we're kind of going to alternate that order. So the top strand is going to have five seed beads. One, two, three, four, five. The middle strand is going to have four again. One, two, three, 
34. The bottom strand is going to have three this time. One, two, three. Then we add our beam bead. So you can see how that's taking shape and getting wavy. And you just repeat that pattern of alternating how many beads are on the top and bottom. So our next segment, there'll be three on the top, five on the bottom, and then three on the top, five on the bottom until your bracelet is the desired length for adding a clasp. So the middle strand should always have four beads, which makes it a little easier. You're only alternating the top and bottom strands. Four. One, two. Three. Four, five, and I'm adding these bead colors at random. The blends are so nice that picking up the colors at random works really well because the colors are already perfectly matched to do that. Um, but if you have a certain color order you want to follow, that would be fun. You could maybe color block each segment between the bean beads, do like an ombre or rainbow look. It'd be really fun either way. Then we go back to adding five at the top. One, two, three, four, five. Middle is always the same, so we've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Then you add your bead bead. And on some of these, I'm running into the problem that the, uh, the coating has kind of blocked the hole. I'm just going to take a pin see if I can unblock it but if not we'll pick up another one and I don't think we can so we'll just pick up another one so that's important is if you're weaving especially you want to make sure that those that the beads you're using don't have blocked holes but for a stringing project it's it's pretty evident as you go There we go. For this segment, I even played around with stacking the beam beads, which is kind of a fun look. I think this is gonna be the center of my bracelet. So the sides of my bracelet will have the single beam bead. The center has some color blocked stacking happening. So it's another fun way to play with the color, uh, the color scheme of your project and have fun, some more fun with those beam beads. And there we go, we've got all of our beads in place. It makes this really cute wavy look and I've got those three bean beads stacked in the center. Super fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and what you'd like to see next. And as always, make sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification so you're the first to know when videos like this are out. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.